Look at that, that's not nice. Say good morning. Say good morning. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Say good morning. No, you're gonna be shy. Good morning, guys, and welcome to the vlog. getting ready to go and we are actually doing good on time. I wanted to leave by 8 o'clock today because I actually have to drop McLean off first and then take Hudson to school and because I have a class this morning and so I've got to be there on time. It's a continuing ed class and so if I'm not there right on time then I don't get credit for it. So I've got to be on time so I've got to drop her off before I drop him. So we need to leave like 20 minutes earlier than normal and it's actually 7.40, 7.38 right now and they're dressed, they've had their breakfast, I'm ready so we can just hang out for a minute which is a nice relief from just running and mass chaos. But I wanted to show you guys, I got their book bags packed last night and I actually had to pack Hudson's lunchbox. Look how cute that is. I actually had to go buy him a lunchbox. I got this from the little dollar spot at Target. It was $5, but it was cheaper. The rest were like $8 and $10, and he's not going to use it that much. But today, um, like I said, I have a class that goes from 9.45 to 12.45, and his normal school gets out at 12. But they have lunch that they can stay for where, I mean, they have to bring their own lunch, but they'll feed them lunch, and it's an extra hour. So, I, having him stay till 1, my class is about 25 minutes away from his school. So, I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do. So, I've been scrambling to have somebody get him up, pick him up on time. But now, we have a backup in case to go pick him up. Because it literally will be for like maybe 10 minutes. But Chase should be able to be there in time. His work, he's kind of, he went in early this morning and kind of reworked some stuff. So, he should be able to pick him up. Um until I get there and then I think he might have to go back to work but hopefully it'll work out so I had to pack his lunch all of that just to say I had to pack his lunch and so this is the little lunch box I got him it was like I said five dollars in the target spot and it's just a regular it's not like super nice but he's not going to need it every day maybe a couple times this year he'll use it so I put a pouch in there and then I actually need to grab out the rest of the lunch let's see look at my Messy fridge. I need to clean it out. This is the rest of what I packed for his lunch. And they had asked that, um, you know, at the beginning of the year, they talked about if you're staying for lunch, to not pack too many containers, especially for the class. Hold on, Betty. This is your lunch for school. You gonna eat lunch at school? He's just a little bit excited. So I tried to just put most all of it in one container so the teacher only has to open one thing for him because, you know, at his age, they're mostly one, oh, that's just spilled everywhere. Um, they're one and, well, no, they're not one, they're two, uh, some three, but, so she has a lot to open. So I put it all in this one little container so he has his peanut butter sandwich, some fruit snacks, and then some pirate booty, just like the popcorn, uh, and then a pouch. So. That is his lunch, and then I fixed him. Um, he has his water cup that he'll take for school. Hudson, Hudson, you're fine. He is in such a whiny face lately. Um, and then go get a different one. You have more? Um, then just a juice, which I need to clean up and refill because it's just spilt everywhere. But so that will go in there. Hold on. Okay, so I have his lunch all packed. I've got all of his little container with his food, his juice, and his pouch, and he's ready to go to school. Okay, we actually made it out the door three minutes early. This is probably a record for me. So we are headed, you ready to go to school? Yeah, can you say yes, ma'am? And we're gonna take Sissy to the babysitters. Is it too heavy, you need mommy to hold it? No, I'm just holding it. You just hold it? Let's go to school. Let's go to school, big boy. Oh my goodness, you guys. It's been a very eventful evening. Chase, of course, just left 
like maybe 20 minutes ago he had to go to church to help out with something tonight and I was in McLean's room working on consignment sale stuff while the kids were just playing in the living room and all of a sudden Hudson comes in there crying um, really upset and so I look and his mouth is bleeding he said he hit the sofa and he like I don't know if he bit through it or if he just bit because it didn't seem like his teeth were stuck or they may have been stuck and it I don't know he wouldn't let me look at his mouth or touch it and so this is kind of the fair warning if this kind of stuff grosses you out don't don't watch this part I finally got him to eat a popsicle Please. Uh -oh. but it um it kind of still he won't let me like wipe his mouth off he's still got some blood there you go baby there you go uh oh um but it's like there's still a piece of his top lip hanging down uh oh, uh oh. There you go, Bubby. And luckily the popsicle is getting most of the blood off the lower lip. Does that it, make it feel it, better? I like the blue. Yeah, it's blue. Does it make it feel better? I, I like the blue shirt. Yeah, it's like my blue shirt. <laughs> and I don't know what to do. I've been calling my mom trying to figure out if I need to take her to the hospital. Um, luckily it stopped bleeding, so she said there's nothing really. If it's not, like, if it's a big cut where they need to stitch it, it'd still be bleeding. But, like, I can still see, like, the piece of skin hanging down, like, at his teeth. But, so, I know that's got to hurt really bad, and I don't know what else to do for him. Luckily, this popsicle seems to be helping, and but I can definitely still see it hanging down. So, I don't know. I don't want him to bite it off and hurt it even more, but I don't want to pull it off. Woo! But, so, right now, he's happy. Is that a good popsicle? Does your mouth feel better? I no, it doesn't. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here, mommy. Is that a good popsicle, Sissy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Orange. Orange, that's right. It is orange. She wanted an orange one. And her hamper is here. We had to, um, it got ants in it. Because she had some crumbs Mommy, in some of her clothes. And, you know, when I took her clothes off, I just put them in the hamper. There you go. And somehow ants got in and got all over her hamper. So it's out here trying to get the ants out. But we're just going to have some popsicles and see if we can make it feel better. Can you say goodnight? Say it louder. Goodnight. We're going to end the vlog here. I'm about to put him to bed. I already put her to sleep and yeah, it's been a long night. I've got a lot of cleaning to do that I didn't get to do earlier because I was just cuddling this one. You feel better? Does your mouth feel better? You don't know? Maybe? Yeah, he's watching Mickey Mouse through the opening. Uh, but he seems to be feeling much better. He had another popsicle. And he hasn't been complaining of it hurting, so hopefully it's not going to bother him too much. But we want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll say see you tomorrow. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>